Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny spark is needed for Russian military troops to fight American military troops in an African country. Guess what? The Russians entered a US military base in Niger or Niger. What do you think will happen? So they are housed in the, housed in the same hotel. Uh, do you think the Russians don't know what's going on in Ukraine and who is behind that? Well, one spark, one drunk guy, and you're going to have a big fucking shooting. And it's going to happen. That's going to happen. Uh, remember, and don't give me this garbage. I heard this many times before. Well, you remember in Syria, we Americans, the Russians challenged us and we fucked them up like 200 of them. They didn't even dare. They were not match for us. Do you know the details? Fuck no. Well, we killed about 200 of them. They were all ordered to stand down and they were not Russian military. There were some Wagnerites. Okay? Or there were some private contractors. Do you know those details? No. Then shut the fuck up. All right? Yeah, we fucked them up. Yeah, you fucked those guys up. Very good, because the other guys were more, had more brains than these guys. Say, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. we're going to start a war here? Maybe, uh, maybe these guys let them, you know, grow their balls a little bit uh, with this one so they can tell their, oh, what the fuck, we did the Russians over there. Read the details, my friends. They're available. So let me show you details on the Russian troops enter base housing U.S. military in Niger. U.S. official says, ram, pam, pam. And here is the article coming from Reuters. It must be true. This is from May 2nd, 2024. Remember, the US was kicked out. Uh, it, was an agree it was an agreement between the Niger's junta and the US to get the fuck out. And the Americans are dragging their balls around, rolling on the, whatever they have, grass or maybe... Um, whatever send and they don't want to go they don't want to go of course why because niger has some um, national uh, how do you call them uh, uh, resources they have i think uranium or something they have some gold uh, they have a lot of things that these guys want i don't know how in the fuck the french left and the french want to challenge the russians in ukraine but they live with their tail between the legs from Niger. Did you look at Niger? No offense. How many people are in Niger? Do you look at the prowess of their military? And the French left. They didn't leave because they were nice guys. They were afraid of the Russian bear who is moving in for the, for the winter to hibernate a little bit. So here we have him. Russian military personnel have entered an air base in Niger that is housing that is present tense continuous. How is housing US troops right now? A senior US defense official told Reuters a move that follows a decision by Niger's junta to expel US forces from the country. The military force officer ruling the military officers ruling the West African nation have told the US to get the fuck out, I mean to withdraw its nearly 1,000 military personnel from the country, which until a coup last year had been a key partner for Washington. That means they were uh, a vassal state. That's why it is bribes. Fight against insurgents who have killed thousands of people and dis uh, displaced millions more. Yeah, so the Americans were helping fight against terrorism and they were stabilizing force. And we are the good people, man. We are. And our government is perfect. Let's move on. A senior U.S. defense official speaking on condition of anonymity said, uh, uh, OK, hey, let's see what he said. And I'm going to tell you my source, what my source said, said Russian forces were not mingling with the U.S. troops, but were using a separate hangar at Air Base 101, which is next to Diori Hamani International Airport in Niamey, Niger's capital. I don't care if this is pronounced differently. Now, condition of anonymity. Well, let me tell you what my source said. I can disclose the name. Don't even use a pronoun. They have to be trained. Uh, all right. My source said that that's not true. Now, why should we believe Reuters and you don't believe me? I never lied to you. 
Reuters. All right, this is how it works with uh, people familiar with the issue, anonymity, condition, uh, confidentiality issues, and uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, can we find out? No, they can make up what the fuck ever they want. They can make up shit. How would you, Juju, how would you verify that? Can you? No, you can't. All right, let's move on. The move by Russia's military puts U.S. and Russian troops in close, close proximity, baby, baby. At a time when the nation's military and diplomatic rivalry, rivalry, rivalry is increasingly acrimonious over the conflict in Ukraine. It also... What's up? You brought a, you brought a toy? He wants to play, but... I'm playing here first and then we're going to play together. It raises questions about the fate of US installations in the country following a withdrawal. What are they going to do? Take it or leave it? Well, because you're so dumb uh, and uh, past historical events prove that you're dumb, leave it to the uh, Taliban's. I mean to Niger. Idiots. Idiots. Uh, if you don't know um, how that could have been solved, ask Trump. He explained to you, you either blow up everything over there or you pick it up. What was so hard to put some uh, gas in the kerosene or whatever the, in the airplane and fly with this uh, with everything? You leave it over there. Are you crazy? Yes, they're not crazy. They're dumb. So the same. Leave it over there, man. I mean, you are, uh, uh, how do you call that? Uh, where are you, Mofo? Uh, you are very generous with other people's money. <laughs> That's the problem. So here it is, the situation, I'm quoting, the situation is not great, but in short term, manageable. Well, the short term, short term if you guys leave as soon as the fuck, um, the sooner, the better, let's put it this way. Or you think the Russians will leave, the official said. The Nigerian and Russian embassies in Washington did not immediately respond to a request for comment. So what do you think? And now we have here, Mali. For example, pop, 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 and we have others, my friends. We have Burkina Faso right here too. We also left U.S. troops. Also left Chad, Chad, Chad. So, what do you think will happen? Maybe a drunken night. Uh, the um, I think um, the Eastern Orthodox Easter is this weekend. Um, I don't know. The Russians go to the, the same calendar. I know they. They have different, uh, but anyway, um, maybe when they get a little bit of too much vodka, they're gonna go and uh, call John, Mike, Tom, and uh, Joshua. <laughs> no, Joshua is in the U.S. Capitol as a senator. And you guys are fucking for him, <laughs> suckers. Anyway, here it is. I'm waiting. Not that I want that to happen. It could happen. It could happen. The Americans don't want to leave. Are you crazy? Well, they're going to leave, they're going to use the same rooms, bathrooms, ladies of the night, and what else? Maybe they start uh, giving some love to one another. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Policy. Are you here? Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.